Hi, I'm Grant e. Mahara here at the Census Testing Labs to see the radio frequency anechoic test chamber. Let's go check it out. Hi, Pam. Hi. So, where am I and what do you do in here? You're in a RF anechoic chamber. Here we test for intentional and unintentional emissions. All right, so what's an example of an intentional emission? An intentional em emissions is when we have the radio transmitter of the, the meter turned on. We um, uh, check the output power from these transmitters, transmitters and we collect this data and we submit it to the regulatory bodies. All right, what's an unintentional emissions? The unintentional emissions is when we have the meter in idle mode. Uh, and we are just checking the emissions coming out when the meter is just powered on. So who is the regulating body? The regulatory body is uh, the FCC. I know a lot of consumer groups are concerned that smart meters are transmitting 24 hours a day, seven days a week. How often does the Stratus meter transmit? The Stratus meter actually communicates or transmits for less than a minute per day. Less than a minute per day? When I think about my cell phone, I have it right next to my head or in my hands at least 12 hours a day. How does that compare to the, the census meter? So when you compare our smart meters to regular um, uh, consumer products, um, they are categorized as low level energy by the FCC. And that's because they are deemed as um, uh, products that do not cause hazards to any humans. A lot of other consumer products, I assume, are also in this class? Yes, a lot of uh, products, uh, baby monitors, you know, microwaves, cell phones, um, any Wi-Fi networks in your house. So really, if you're transmitting under a minute per day, the amount that it puts out into the world is minuscule compared to everything else. That's right. So when it comes to the idea that smart meters are major contributors to RF noise pollution, I'm sorry, but compared to everything else that's already in your home, this one is totally fiction. <laughs>